it's not the easiest thing, that's for sure. But um, it could it could be a lot easier if you have people around you, especially on the outside, who uh, want to support and uh, not nurture um, that side of you when you're behind bars. Being uh, being trying to be a father, I have a, um, when I got incarcerated, I was uh, my daughter was uh, actually a year and a half, so she's quite young. And um, yeah, I just felt like I needed to make sure to reach out to her because at that point I didn't know what time, when I was gonna come home, if I was gonna come home. So those, I just had to reach reach her some way somehow. Uh, and the phone was really not an option. So the letters were the only way I could actually reach reach out to my daughter. Well, um, it takes two to make the child, but it definitely takes two and um, then some more to raise the child. So um, knowing that, that's, that was the hard part because um, it's almost like uh, leaving the child handicapped, you know, because they're not getting the full support, the full um, a balance, a balanced look and balanced growth to life. So that was that was the hardest part. Is more that I'm uh, not being able to provide what I have to offer, so she can get that balance for you. So. Like I told you, if the phone wasn't an option, what I mean by the phone was mean, wasn't an option is that it was hard for me to get a hold of my daughter to even talk to her. There would be weeks, months that would go by and I wouldn't, I'd call and to no avail, nobody would pick up. And uh, I was sharing this frustration with, with somebody who was also a friend of mine, uh, Zungali the Great, as, as, as we call him. And um, he told me and said, why don't you just write your daughter? And at that point, I think she was probably like three years old. And I was thinking to myself, well, she's kind of young. How is she going to, you know, thinking about her reading the letter? Because I had little to no support from her mother as far as even just uh, helping me and my daughter connect. So uh, I wasn't thinking hey, about the fact that maybe the mother my daughter could read those, those letters to her. So, but he's the one that implored, implored me to, to start writing. And, Lo and behold, it became something that I look forward to every month because I wrote letters every month, the 27th of every month. That's why the book is called the 27th letter. Uh, and, uh, it became therapeutic, really therapeutic. Uh, I, mean, I, I remember vividly waiting till everybody pretty much was asleep so I could have that silence to myself so I could really delve into the letter. Just try to connect with my daughter. So.